Snowball, my honey, don't you melt away, cause your daddy like those dark brown eyes. We are at the Douglas County Historical Society where much of the research for the snowball was conducted. We had to study the history of Omaha, of the whole state of Nebraska, and of course of the Buffett family, which has resided in this area since 1866, before the Civil War. To my left is Lauren Esposito, who is my researcher and also a former colleague at Morgan Stanley. And Lauren has worked with me on this project throughout. And to my right is Gary Rosenberg of the Douglas County Historical Society. Hi there. Um, Gary was very helpful to us on this project, and he and Lauren were always emailing and calling each other, sending documents back and forth as we progressed through the whole project. What we've got here is a group of files that have to do with the Buffett family. The Douglas County Historical Society keeps um, newspaper clippings. For example, I have in front of me a file on Howard Buffett, Warren's father. In this article, Howard Buffett says that he would try to seek with repeal of the federal income tax withholding law. He did not think that it was constitutional. Howard was always making comparisons uh, between historical figures and uh, the Truman or Franklin Delano Roosevelt administration, both of whom he abhorred. So we were able to use a lot of these articles, which we, there are file after file on Warren and on the Buffett family and their early history, in order to get a really good sense of the influences that affected Buffett as a child, particularly the politics that his father espoused and how that might have influenced his thinking. We also have old newspaper, for example, the Omaha Bee. This book, for example, is from 1930, the year that Warren was born. And you can see that it contains very fragile old pages that give you the atmosphere of the times, not just a particular story that you might be interested in, but also a feel for what it was like to live during the Great Depression. If you would look at the one ads, you would see the signs of stress. You would see people selling things. They would be selling their personal possessions, and there would be a real sense of urgency about it. You would see stores putting on sales that were clearly, you know, bankruptcy sales, emergency sales. You would find legal notices of bank failures. They tended to be the smaller articles and smaller things. All the kinds of things that tell you about daily life, which give context to the book. And we used a lot of this kind of material in writing The Snowball. There were certain books that were very helpful to our research. The Gate City, A History of Omaha is one that we really liked. Also one that's called A Dirty Wicked Town, Tales of 19th Century Omaha, because Omaha was sometimes referred to as a rogue's rookery in its early years. We also noted the news about things like the kidnappings, bank robberies, and the extraordinary weather that took place during the drought years, which occurred then, where temperatures were routinely over 110 degrees. And that gave us a sense of what it was like to be a child during that era when, of course, Nebraskans were trained to take this sort of thing in stride, and to them it was just part of the backdrop of everyday life, and Warren remembers it fondly and doesn't think of it as anything out of the ordinary. Now, sonny, snowball my honey, smile at me today, cause your daddy like those dog brown eyes.